I think I'm roboting here a little bit. Uh, so real quick here, what do you want to see from Uncle? Well, I want to see a bow because uh, it, that will, that's the hard, that's probably the most troll item that the Uncle can have. If the Uncle could have the Ice Rod, then I'd say Ice Rod would be the nice thing to find. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a bow. How about you? I want to see the blue cane. And Mirror to start us off. Oh, I love finding Mirror early. So much of your routing is, is made easier. And uh, if the runners use the Mirror after uh, saving Zelda before leaving Sanctuary, it is so, so funny. And here we go. All right, well, I'm I'm hoping for bow, but no cane of burn at least, and fire rod. All right, that's middle ground, I guess. Yeah, fire rod, very nice. Can't grind bombs as efficiently, but we shall see. <laughs> well, uh, their bombs aren't. Never problem, mind. Uh, I think this is the 100% bomb price pack from the green guards today. Yeah, this seems. Very, very good. Uh, the the only downside with Fire Rod, like you said, is the fact that it it can make bomb farming uh, really difficult. But uh, not it's, an issue here. Not not an issue here. And you know, that aside, I do think it is a, a great starting item. You, you can uh, you can do the dark rooms. The hardest dark rooms tend to be the ones with torches in them. So this kind of gives you a a workaround if you don't find a lamp. And uh, it does quite a lot of damage as well. And someone is asking what Pink Kitty Rose's sprite is. I believe that is Unica from Yee's Origins. And somebody was asking what Chauncey's sprite was. I believe that is Link from A Link to the Past. <laughs> yeah, just the original OG sprite. I'll admit, that's the original sprite's actually the rarest one that I've seen in the whole tournament. Alright, <laughs> there's yet another bomb. Chauncey gotta go ahead and pick that up. They've just been really generous with the bombs, and they can carry even more now! Well, I think the rats are gonna have nothing but eight bomb drops now. I want to see them come out of escape with 15 bombs. <laughs> uh, I, I doubt it. I honestly doubt it. We'll have a, like a 15 minute escape in that case. <laughs> no, no. Like I said, the, the, the rats, they'll have the 8 bomb packs and then we'll be good to go. And they'll get a 10 bomb from the last chest. And there's a hook shot! Wow! Nice, and both runners taking advantage of the mirror to save themselves some time. That's easy to forget about because you rarely get the mirror so early. Yeah, that's that's gonna give them a huge advantage moving forward, or at least getting out of here in sub six. And if they want it, hookshot is essentially a, a farming weapon at this point. Um, it's gonna instant kill the rats and the bats. I think it stuns the ropes. I'm not sure on that. I think it kills them. Even better. The hookshot only has two functions, stun or kill. <laughs> yeah, it kills. And another four bomb drop for Pink. She is set for Kakariko on top of just having the bombs necessary for the escape now. And both both of them picking up those extra bombs. Uh, hookshot, if you know if you know where the pots and the chests are, you can really do you know a little bit faster navigation. Uh, it moves you at twice your walking speed without the charge of the boots. I, I don't. You don't typically see people use it in escape, though. But in overworld, uh, it can really save a lot of time. Yeah. So now here we go. We're gonna see these three items that are blo being blocked by bomb here. Boots would also work if you had them. And we get a big twenty. The map. Wow, and our silver arrows. That's nice to have early on. Not, not too bad. I, I always think it's important just to get those out of the way 
from the psychological impact of having to worry about them. Yeah, no worries about serverless either. They could probably go ahead and give them Master Sword strats all day long. And pink out in five minutes flat! What's the extra change depending on the cutscene? And getting three more bombs for good measure. That uh, shows you how much the mirror saves, cutting a whole minute off right there. A whole minute that you would sp have spent backtracking to get Zelda out of the dungeon. Yeah, and Pink actually did mirror um, before. Well, no. Pink did a save it, quit. It a, save it, save and quit. Okay. Yeah, if you if you mirror in Sanctuary, it puts you at the front of the castle. Um, normally, it'll put you at the door of the Sanctuary, but if you haven't left there once, it always drops you out, and that can be really fun to launch if people don't expect it. Yeah, and Pink's gonna start with the South Shore here. Let's see what she finds. She finds 50 rupees. Good start. And her pull tries is just some hearts. Nothing major there. Mushroom item. Blue mail. Very nice. Find. And just uh, an arrow booster here in the flood area. Pink's going to go ahead and pick that up. Yeah, early mail upgrade. Very nice thing to find. I, <laughs> I, I don't expect that the hook shot itself um, is, is making Pink do the South Shore route first. This, this is probably a standard opening. Yeah, Pink's gonna head over to Agonus Cave. Just gonna walk over and get this done early. This is such a rare play that you've seen the first 10 minutes. If this is, like I said, this is a little bit less common, but if you find, you know, the flute or uh, a bottle or something, you know, down here, then that's going to be things that you can use in Kakariko. And that is a huge play. Pink finding the power glove. At a Gina's cave. Wow, that is a that is a great place to find it. I, I don't know if Chauncey is going to be less likely to pick it up. And there's Moon uh, Pearl. I find the Moon Pearl and Blind's Hut. That's something that is absolutely uh, a location uh, Pink is going to check, but a Genus Cave is pretty far out of the way for a lot of runners. Yeah, <laughs> that that's a just an advantage straight off. And it also puts Zora in logic later down the line. Yeah, their chests in uh, the Thieves' Hut were nothing too bright home about here. We're going to see what Mini Mulder he has for us. Arrow booster, 50 rupees. 300 on Chauncey's side, 10 arrows. Ether, and another 50 rupees for Pink. Chauncey finds another 50. Another 300. A lot of rupees in Kakariko. Lots of money. That's. I want to say that's as much money as you will ever need in the seed. Yeah, so Pinky Rose has logical Zor access with the gloves, and Chauncey actually has the money to pay the, pay the fish. Yeah, Pink will most likely be heading over to Kakariko. It is just two item deads to not touch. And we're seeing the chicken clip. Oh, and he successfully pulls it off. Yes. I've actually gotten the chicken through into the room a few times. It's very rare. <laughs> I think I actually prefer the chicken in the wall. It's just more fun to watch. <laughs> and Pink gets 300 rupees that Ice Heart gave. And there's a sword at the bar for Chauncey. So we are a hammer or a mitts upgrade away from being able to skip Aga Tower. And we are a lamp and a sword or a lamp and a keep from being able to do Aga Tower. Yeah, and let's see what's your library. It's the mo it's the mushroom. <laughs> Whoa! Do you like your fetch quests? I do not like my fetch quests. <laughs> Neither do I. Rush is gonna be one interesting. There's the other glove. Oh my god! And Pink is going right there right now. We have Dark World access, and we're not even ten minutes in. Well, as a right, as we Com know it. Commentators have Dark World access. 
Yeah, Pig will most likely have it around maybe 15-ish, depending on how fast she goes through Kakariko. That that could be uh, bad for, for Chauncey, because with one glove, uh, he might not go to out-of-the-way locations like Agena's Cave, looking for uh, his progression. On the other hand, if you're thinking it's Aghanim, you might check every single location, trying to hope that you find another way to get around Dark World. And in this case, we do have it. This is a matter of when. Well, I'm I'm hoping he goes there. I I don't want it to be a a, a troll for for either runner. Well, Chauncey will need it eventually. And there's our map check. Our 5 and 6 are here in the Light World. At Hera and Eastern, Desert is another crystal as well. So we have a 3 pendant Dark World. Well, Hera is actually currently completable. Um, if they sequence break up to Death Mountain. So that's nice to get out of the way. Yeah. All right, so we're, we're starting to run out of locations here. We we know that we have Dark World access uh, through Kakariko, uh, and and Aga is not required. So, uh, do you think that Aga may still be required? I'm gonna just stop you right there for a moment, and that's simply because we currently do not have access to Palace of Darkness. We need the flippers or the hammer. That, that's absolutely a, a valid point. Um, we it's it's less likely to be required <laughs> for the moment. Um, it's not immediately required, I, I guess I could say. But yeah. um, you know, so right now, the, like the choices I think is you know you you go into Dark Kakariko, um, you go sequence break Death Mountain and do Hera, or you do the Eastern area. Um, what, what do you what do you think is most likely? I'd say figure out what the logic has in store for you. Check the eastern area. While you're at it, you can go ahead and get your information on the green pendant. Not many people will do it, but some people I'd be willing... I basically would just try to get that information sooner rather than later. I mean, Pink can just go through to Village of Outcast right here and check via the... Uh, the portal, and it can mirror right back out and continue her ex exploration of the light world. Chauncey, though, dies at Ice Rod's cave to the crabs. That that is unfortunate. I I think Pink Kitty Pros will probably go directly in the dark world. My play, I think, would be the sequence break up the Hera. I get get your first crystal out of, out of the way and uh, I unlock that save and continue point. Uh, with with the hook shot, they can also do Eastern Death Mountain, uh, both light and dark. So just as pure, it's a sequence break, but the item density, if you find your bow up there, then you're going to avoid an Eastern double dip. Yeah, I can completely see that. Pink is going to finish her Light World exploration first and foremost here with the Lost Woods. They even check to see... Oh, we haven't even seen what Lumberjack Cave has. I just realized. There's our lamp! And the magic powder! <laughs> well, lamp as far as uh, enabling uh, you know, Aga is, is, is not something great. Uh, hopefully we don't find uh, a cape over here in Eastern, because that's going to send Chauncey in the wrong direction. And there's Pink grabbing her blue mail. And Chauncey is going to dip into Eastern Palace. Can get at least two items out of here. So, would have been neat if um, Pink had, had taken the, uh, the portal here and, and kind of routed the, uh, the bumper cave lumber ch lumberjack checks together. The... Uh, uh, a, a Skullwood's dip with the, you know, picking up the uh, vanilla mushroom ooh, spot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, Ag is not required, but that is a very nice thing to have. It is... Well, 
Tag is not is not required for Lumberjack Cave. It is half magic. I I think I would rather have half magic than red nail. It's a great item. And it looks like Pink is in the mountain. And there's Chauncey with the 20 rupees. This this just makes so much sense. There's, you know, uh, almost 20 or so items up here. And Pink did it without actually using the sword to guide her. That's very nicely done. And a heart piece for her efforts. So she's going to clear the full right side, um, both light and dark, I imagine, before look, before going to Hera. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Just pick up all the items first. Uh, hearts, um, sword upgrades, everything is going to make Hera easier. But there's nothing in Hera that's going to make the, uh, the overworld over here easier. Second item is the, the boomerang. So Big Key Chest either has the third item or it has the compass, as we just found the map in the big chest. Yeah, and this is not a sequence break for Chauncey, uh, having picked up the lamp there. Nope, it's entirely in logic. And we're seeing a Super Bunny cave check. What do we got over here? Also, I just realized... With the lamp, Death Mountain's actually in logic. I uh, ab absolutely. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was going to comment that on this, comment on that in a, in a second as well. Um, Chauncey, you know, is, is also uh, likely to head up here for the item density rather than pendant, be diverted anywhere else. Pendant Pod, Pendant Thieves Town, Pendant Swamp. Oh, geez, where is that hook shot? In escape. And it looks like Pink checked Turtle Rock briefly. I did not quite see the medallion. Yeah, how do you I don't know how to feel about that pendant pod. Um, there's always something good in pendant pod. Yeah, these pendants are kind of an interesting mess. Think going into paradise, getting some more health. Yeah, so here's the true hype cave, paradox cave floor number two, or one. It, it's a paradox <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> or three, <laughs> sure, why not? I mean, it said first floor right there. All right, the five items here are our first shield, a piece of heart, the red boomerang. So we know where both of them are. Another heart container, and another piece of heart. Well, getting that, getting knowledge on the two boomerangs is, is incredibly valuable, so I'm really glad we got that out of the way. All right, now for Sparrow Cave. Pink will most likely stay put here and then climb the mountain again from the old man's uh, spawn point, just to get a hair at this point. Or it could just walk around. It either way works. And yet another heart container. <laughs> well. She came up here, I think, with four hearts, so I uh, already doubled that. Very nice. All right, we do have the hook shot. Wow, I, I, I'm 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 a little frazzled right now. Yeah, we don't have the hammer though, so she can't get the hair from this way. I'm not sure what else is left up here. Uh, 
Oh, she can just go through the dark world here. She set up her portal so that she can do hookshot cave and then go across the bridge and mirror. Okay, I didn't see where the portal was. That makes a lot of sense. That's actually a nice play, for, nice riding decision from Ping, leaving hookshot cave last so her portal had the maximum value. Oh, and there's our bow! That's maximum value indeed. And our fire shield, my favorite one. Uh, this sequence break absolutely paid off for for Pink. Uh, she'll be able to get that Eastern Pendant in a single trip. But yeah, I was I was trying to figure out this this Dark World routing there, and it just didn't make sense to me because there was an extra climb. But um, it worked out perfectly for for Pink. Uh, really clever thinking ahead there with the portal. Chauncey, meanwhile, did not quite set up the coffee break, so is working his way through the tiles. Uh, did you check Chitterrock's pendant for medallion requirement? I don't know. If she did, it was a very split-second check that I missed. I didn't see it, and I don't see it on the tracker either, so I'm guessing she didn't head over that way. I mean, the big team, the first chest. Oh, no. Oh, my. There's our flippers. And I was looking at Chauncey's when I saw the big key. My mistake. So, there's our flippers. We have Fire Rod. Ice Palace is already in play for pink. Yeah, and neither runner has sequence broken any of the Zord uh, areas yet. So, uh, this is good. So, they don't have to catch up on and fix any sequence breaks. Um, those locations are definitely pretty item dense. Yeah, Pink's current advantage right now is checking Agana within the first eight minutes of the seed and finding the Titan's Mint, our other glove. Absolutely. Um, the bow being- Oh! Sorry to cut you off there, but Chauncey was about to open the big chest, but fell down getting knocked around by the patrolling fireball there. But go uh, on. That's fine. I was, I was going to say that the um, the bow being uh, in the dark side of Death Mountain means that Chauncey will not even be able to pick that up despite being up here. So those those gloves are... Oh, Master Sword. Um, but yeah, those, oh, those, no. Yeah, those gloves are really, really paying off. Oh, no. I, I know what you're going to say, and you have to say Chauncey it. Chauncey might think it's Agon and for Dark World access. It, it had to be done. <laughs> Mitts, we're at Agina's cave, folks, so they are available. What the? Hold on, let him down. Thank you. <laughs> I, I don't even know if I would if I would call skipping uh, a Gina at that point a bad play because you, you just checked so many chests and other locations. You know you have to say, well, what are the odds at that point? Um, it's a fair gamble to make. Wow, well, getting a little acceleration off that bumper and up to Mulder herself. Uh, Sha Chauncey, I would think if he if he had to pick, would probably do the Zord area. Uh, that's that's the uh, that's five items that that he can pick up, uh, and he has the money for it. So that makes a lot of sense, if, even before checking in Gina. What well, was the special rock? I completely missed it. Oh, a bottle. Uh, yeah, neither of them have been in here yet, given the way they uh, got up here. Uh, Chauncey went straight up. So, must have checked the cave, went into Hera first, then came out and grabbed it. And Pink with her Master Sword and the Crystal out of Hera. Alright, so Chauncey's going to be able to check the right hit side side here, but without that glove, it's only going to be the Light World side. Uh, Spiral Cave and Paradox Cave. No Super Bunny or Hookshot. Uh, means that he's not going to be able to pick up the bow. Yes, and for those wondering, the bow was in Hookshot Cave on the dark side. 
And that's where you'd expect to find the bow, on the dark side. <laughs> but uh, this is the first bottle for both runners, so that lets them do their sick kid fetch quest. And yeah, with the flippers, I just realized that puts uh, Aghanim on life support, not necessarily dead yet. Because there is one very, very niche situation that I have never seen before, but it is a possibility. And that is simply... A hammer on Pyramid? Hammer on Pyramid Fairy. Yeah. Because you cannot take the bomb in the water. And the only way to get there is to hammer the pegs, which you don't have the hammer, or fight Aghanim to use the portal at the castle gate to carry the bomb over. And, and well, that is absolutely true. I feel comfortable saying Ag is dead until proven otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that. I'll agree to that. And being not wasting any time going to Dark World, going to take on the Moth. Uh, this is a full clearable crystal dungeon, and with uh, with nine hearts there, that's uh, and blue mail, that's sufficient. Not only that, the, with the bow and silver arrows, can easily take out the Gibdos. It was in her way. Very good point. And not waste magic. So, uh, just because we were talking about it, and because it's, it's a question in chat, there there are a couple minor glitches that will let you get the bomb uh, across the water area. Uh, without having the hammer, but they're just because that situation is so rare, seeing the glitches is, is even more rare. Um, I'm not even going to go into them just because of how rare they are, but it is possible if you really, really know what they are. Yes, and beyond that, we have met the other three requirements that make Aghanim not required. We have Dark World Axis, Lumberjack Cave is not required to see, it does have, have her half magic. And we have a way to get to Pod through other means than through the portal at the castle gate. We can swim to it now with the flippers. Nice use of ether to clear out that really annoying uh, Skull Woods room. Yeah, ether is one of the best medallions. It's quick and it kills a lot of the more annoying enemies like Stalfos and Gibdos. 20 rubies at Hobo. Hubbo's been saving up. And it looks like our two items for Skull Woods might be both in the backside, unless I haven't seen the big key yet. Yeah, I just saw the map there. I, I missed the other items. Alright, so Chauncey is going to give us the next four items in the game. Uh, two on the Waterfall Cave Actually, he's going to make another attempt at Ice Rod Cave, because he did have that unfortunate death earlier. Yeah, with uh, five hearts now and blue mail, and not being at a half heart, he'll have a much easier time. There's the big key, so there is an item in the big chest. I think we'll most likely get that on our way out. Let's and see if she uses the silvers or the ether. Probably the ether. It, her uh, quiver is a little light. So this makes perfect sense. Yeah, Chauncey still got hit by the crabs, but this time had enough health. Yeah. Those crabs, by the way, deals two hearts to you if you're not wearing a tunic upgrade. So they are quite dangerous for an early and for an enemy you can run into early on. All right, so now we are going to see the uh, the two waterfall items, the Zora's ledge and the Zora item itself oh, on Chauncey's side. Well, Pink Kitty does uh, Master Sword Mothila. Not not too bad a fight. Yeah, loses the sword beams. Not that they're too much of a help in this fight. Chauncey finds a piece of heart and twenty rupees. I think that's the third time I've seen that specific item combination. And 20 rubies for Pink defeating them off. But that is another crystal for her. Well, there's so many 20 rupees and piece of hearts that that, that can come up a lot, I would I would imagine. Zora Ledge 
is just a bomb expansion. So we're the pink kitty rose can see bomb. It's a t the ten bomb expansion, and Chauncey's just gonna leave that behind. So Zor's domain is the place to go if you want to end the game with seventy bombs. And it looks like Chauncey will be going oh, to Aga. No. Uh, it's it's absolutely not a bad play. Uh, a genus cave is the only location left to Chauncey at this point. Uh, in the logic, and at this point, you just say, "Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna do it. I give up." And uh, Agena is dead to a lot of runners from the beginning of the game. I mean, at least he'll have access to half magic later. But this is gonna mess him up on a couple of different levels. He's gonna have to worry about where his saving quits are because he has the mirror. He's going to have to worry about the enemies and the overall being a little bit tougher. The the one advantage here is is we, we still don't know where the hammer is yet. Um, and Pinkity Rose has checked many locations that Chauncey just doesn't have access to without the mitts. Uh, if the hammer ends up being really deep into a suboptimal location, that additional Dark World access location could actually save Chauncey quite a bit of time from walking from Kakariko every time. Because that's, that's all Pink Kitty has at the moment, is Kakariko. That is true, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I, it, you know, might not be enough to make up the six minutes that you dump into this play, but it, it can definitely save you time. And only getting 20 rupees there at the chess game. Well, Pendant Thieves Town. I think you gotta you gotta go in there. Green Pendant Thieves Town. You gotta full clear it. Uh, with what hammer do you full clear with? I'd at least check right. the first four chests. I will concede that much. Going in for the red full dungeon, probably not. All right, without without hammer, uh, that that's a good point. I I wasn't paying attention to that fact, but yeah, uh, it's there's just. So, Thieves Town always has something, it feels like. Alright, sick kid. They both have access to it. Air booster. Well, that would have been a great spot for a hammer. Alright, looks like Pinky's gonna head over to the Stumpy in the digging game. Get those checks done. And meanwhile, Chauncey will be doing Agnum. So, how many blue balls do you think we're going to have there, Tiru? Well, I'm going to go with zero because I want this Aga to play to be as nice for Chauncey as possible. I mean, that's fair. I'm just going to go with the average and say two. And uh, digging game, third dig was our was a big twenty, so nothing much there. Well, fortunately, uh, Chauncey having the fire rod was able to really make a lot of the Agus Tower much easier. And this wasn't the you know the five six minutes that you get in a normal early game Aga, so it it's not as bad as as it we initially thought it was. I think going to go talk to Stumpy. We're kind of derped there a little bit for realizing, hey, I should probably turn in the blacksmith first. And... How many blue balls was that? I wasn't counting. <laughs> I wasn't counting either. All right, so purple chest world tour in cut zero. zero. Oh wow! Another bottle from the blacksmiths. 
tier, you are a psychic, sir. <laughs> uh, that's, that's not good news then for the Pendant Thieves Town fly. <laughs> I, I didn't even see what was on the pyramid. Uh, going to the delay. I, I didn't see it there either. It must have been before the map check. Uh, Kiri just says it was a quiver upgrade. So we'll go with that. Alright, Pink is going to check the cave south grove here. Pink Kitty has absolutely shown us here the value of an early mirror. Uh, it, it hasn't unlocked any any new areas other than uh, Hera, um, but it's just made routing so much more efficient. And if you if you have the mirror and you know and you know what you're doing and you can think a few steps ahead, uh, you, you you can pull off moves like like she's doing right now. All right, Stumpy, what do you have for us? Piece of heart. Catfish, what do you have for us? If this is Hammer, Chauncey's got a nice little advantage here. It's just five rupees. So, Chauncey is probably going to feel that Pod is the only option available to him at this point. Yeah, and hopefully... As much as I wanted to save this, I hope he does not get he does not get an item in the first chest. Or rather a key. I'm misspeaking here. Here's the hide cave for Pink. Peace heart to start us off. Our container. Blue cane. Three hundred. And a five. Uh, pretty low hype. That unlocks uh, spike cave. As far as invincibility is concerned, still needs a hammer, of course. Um, I, I think. Oh, I forgot. Chauncey has this long, this long route with the hook shot. So yeah, um, Pod not a not, not a good play. Oh yeah, I forgot about that too. <laughs> well, I, I, what I was going to say earlier was that the best thing that could happen in Pod would for it to be bow locked, and then he would have to say, "Okay, what did I miss? I missed a Gina, and that would lead him to the gloves." But this is a. Uh, uh, a whole nother area here so we didn't find any progression and there's nothing that's going to keep him from also clearing skull woods at least and unfortunately i keep not having too much for us and now to the purple chest and pink kitty not deciding to go clearer uh, the first chest in, in Pendant Swamp Palace. I don't blame her. I really don't. <laughs> yeah, that's not an unreasonable play. <laughs> Thinking that Zed is going to go check the island here, and we'll probably go up to the Palace of Darkness and search around there. Yeah, you could dip in the Ice Palace at this point, looking for the hammer. Uh, not completely out of the, out of the realm of possibility, uh, but... Uh, Eastern is Eastern is a better play. Eastern, uh, she can full clear Eastern, get that crystal. Uh, she's gonna pick up the lamp on the way, and she can and, and she can also finish off Armos Knights. Right, and so full clear Eastern, get the crystal. She can also dip into Pod and see if the hammer's in there. Yeah, and she won't be bow locked, so she'll at least be able to pick up the items if not clear the dungeon. And at this and, point, where can our hammer be if it's not in pod? Because that's the only place we haven't seen items in yet. A uh, hammer can be in... It can be uh, any of the items in pod that aren't on Halmasaur. It can be the first chest in Swamp. It can be left side ice uh, or cold stair. Uh, not cold stair. Uh, left side ice. Um, there's some remaining overworld locations left. If they get the flute, then it can be in mire or desert areas. It could be on Pyramid Ferry because we do have access to our five six crystals. That would be amazing for Shansi. Yeah, we're we have a long ways to go before we're hammer locked.
There's the lamp for pink. And the powder. So I just want to point out that, you know, for, for Chauncey's side over here, um, you know, we, we've, we've seen him miss out on the gloves early on, and that caused him to make the Aga play. But, you know, people people are saying, well, how far behind is Chauncey? Uh, it's not it's not actually that bad. Uh, he has to go up to Dark Death Mountain sooner or later um, for the item density. That's going to get the bow, uh, and that's not that big of a uh, of a second trip. Uh, things that he's doing right now, clearing the the, the Skull Woods area, the over Overworld Thieves Town area. Uh, the only backtrack here is going to be the the Blacksmith Chain sequence that he can't get to, and. The, the time spent that was, you know, in Aga Tower, but it's not, you know, he he, has to, he does have to double dip Eastern and a few other areas, but he's doing a lot of the things that he, that Pink Kitty has, has also done. Yes. The main thing holding Chauncey back, though, is the Titan Smiths, which are at currently at the Agena's Cave, or Agena. However you want to pronounce it. So Chauncey heading into his Mothila fight, sing gear, uh, master sword, and and a little bit less magic. Actually, Magic Bat could also have the hammer, I just realized. Because we can just mirror behind the peg. That's true, and that's a place that's pretty easy to forget, because uh, you have to, you know, you have to use the mirror to get past the hammer peg, so thinking that the hammer can be back there is just, it's not intuitive, but uh, the logic does allow for that. And there's Pink grabbing the blue boomerang, now has both. And with the bow, I think Pink will have an even faster uh, climb up Aga Tower because she can just take those ball and chain guards, shoot them with a silver arrow. Doesn't even have to wait for the animation. And I believe the moth is down for Chauncey, so now we'll be going back in the second item here out of Skull Woods. Pink, meanwhile, getting the third item here in Eastern. We'll now be moving on to Armos. And blink, you, blink and you'll miss it. They absolutely melt to the Silver Arrows. As do most bosses who you can shoot with arrows at that point. Oh. Both our runners are very good with these bomb jumps. Uh, they are tough to pull off without the boots, giving you the AI, uh, the, the triple buffering. Yeah, there, there is uh, some spin strats I've heard about, in which you just lean into the pin and then pull yourself back out. And when you do the spin, you'll be on the very last pixel. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple of those, and I've tried them, but I always end up falling in the pit. So I just, I just, I'm missing the core mechanic. Uh, I know with the boots that there's there's nice ways to set those up as well. Yeah. All right, so here comes the Armos fight. This is the first time we've seen it, and this will be giving us a 5-6. Yeah, this is also, uh, I believe there's one item left in, in this dungeon, so no, we'll get another item. We got all three. Oh, chat lied to me then. It was on the uh, chest on the right. It was in the chest on the way to the big chest, where that was our blue boomerang, and then there was one in the big key room. I, I blame chat. They said I don't want our most. Nope, it was compass. Because uh, big key was in first chest, Matt was in the, the uh, big chest. And Chauncey already checked everything else in there. 
So diving into pod, just like we expected. Yeah, this is a little bit of a time sink, but if the hammer's here, this will be huge. And Ice House is in logic, but not completable by logic. Well, we're still looking for a lot of items. We're looking for the ice rod, the the hammer, the flute. Well, let's say. Uh, I'm sorry, go on. The, the can of Samaria. So, the, you know, there's anything that could be here um, that would ultimately be required uh, a required dip. Yeah. Ice Palace, though, not. You can enter it, but you can't complete it because, well, Cold Air requires the hammer to even reach. Yeah, I, I think Pod actually is a really good play here because you're guaranteed at least four of the items in this dungeon. Uh, and that's four items that you know, there's no other place left that has really good item density that's open. We are, we are seeing Pen of Thieves sound over on Chauncey's end. First chest was a compass. Let's see where this uh, big this hammer actually is. Canis Samaria, though, for oh, Wow, there we go. Second chest I didn't see on Chauncey's end. Doesn't look like it was anything important. Uh, it, uh, and looks like the someone someone picked out that the, the Turtle Rock medallion was ether. So we're a hammer away from Turtle Rock access. And first four to not have the hammer. Uh, I don't know what the odds are, but it feels like it. At least 50% chance uh, that Big Chest isn't needed in Thieves Town. Yeah, although we do have the small key, so. Could be. Uh, Pink did check Turtle Rock, but it was such a lightning quick check, I didn't even notice the medallion. Yeah, I missed it as well, and then, but it looks like our, our, our tracker Credo picked it up. Yes, yeah, shout outs to them, by the way, for keeping all those items of the day for you. It is not an easy job. with the next chest for Chauncey. Big finds Quake. Chauncey finds a heart container. I'm going to say Quake's probably the better find out of those two. Chauncey needs to be careful. We're running low on health. Does have the powder, though, and there's Anti-Fairy in the next room. Big key found for pink. Not choosing to heal. Red potion in the dark maze. All right, so two chests left in pod that are accessible. Uh, there's the compass. This is the last item in Palace of Darkness. Is it Vanilla Hammer? It's Big 20, and there's a part piece for Chauncey. Alright, so there's one item left on Helmosaur that we can't get to. But uh, picking up the cane means that that was the least required uh, to single dip that dungeon. Alright, so here comes... The moment of truth here, if Blind has the hammer, this is a huge advantage now for Chauncey. Uh, and if, if Blind has a, a dungeon item, then uh, that means there's still an item left in Thieves Town. That's right, and it's hammer locked.
All right. I'm gonna try. What, what do you got for spline? It's the map. Oh. What green pendant? Item locked, item locked dungeon. Green pendant. I completely forgot. Green pendant. Sir Hasla could have the hammer. And so, Pink's doing some overworld stuff that Chauncey's already done here. Uh, that's that's gonna even up with the times a little bit over there. And we know nothing. Nothing's on pyramid catfish. Uh, the graveyard ledge. So, our hammer, oh my goodness, our hammer can only be in, it can be in three locations. It can be on that green pendant. It could be within Ice Palace, just in the first half. Or it could be in the pyramid. And you need to defeat Aghanim to get there. Or first chest and swamp. Um, that that trolley swamp item. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Uh, and then of course, those locations could have you know boots or fluids or book or something that opens up other ones. But uh, I I'm I'm a rooting at this point for uh, pyramid fairy because I've never seen that before and that would absolutely be brilliant especially given the uh the the troll that gina did for chauncey i almost forgot magic bat is also on the table there yeah that is so it's such an easy one to skip Yeah, Magic Bat is not an option for Chauncey because uh, you have to have the dark uh, the mitts in order to get there to use your portal. But uh, and Pinkity Rose, you know, Pink Pinkity Rose could get it, but um, she didn't have the ham the powder in her uh, first run through of uh, yeah, the area. She, she didn't have the powder. I, I think that if she goes over there to the Clear Thieves Town, um, she might also do Magic Bat. Um, it's one of those, it's a lot of work just for that one item, though. Yeah. All right, and she hasn't done the Zora stuff either yet, so she's doing that. And with nearly 2,000 rubies, she can mo easily afford it. It's just chump change to her. Here, Zora, have my money. I don't really care about your item. Just give me, just let me see it. I'll take it if I need it. Yeah, I, I won't be surprised if, if she continues to head, um, head east or head west and um you know do grave graveyard ledge and then does the thieves town dip oh she uh, already chauncey 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 looks like to a genus cave and it's a... <laughs> weird it's a... weird portal location but <laughs> i'm gonna check desert ledge as well here this is new information it's our shovel! <laughs> and Pink doing a saving quit. I already had checked Graveyard Ledge. This is gonna lead him away from the Pyramid Fairy. <laughs> Bombing it up for good measure, and for good reason. Uh, yeah, and definitely, but doesn't want to spend the last last bomb bomb in the chest. <laughs> A little bit indecisive there. She uses to go to the sanctuary, or to the house rather. I'm my mistake. I'm not sure. I think you once wanted to do a pyramid fairy. I I think he's a little tilted here. A little bit unsure. Okay. 
Dark Dark Death Mountain it is. So this will give him his bow. And uh, Pink Kitty doing the Thieves Town play. Not going to be able to get that fourth item oh, either. Oh, wait. Wait. Harpy's there. Oh, no, wait. There was a compass. Uh, it's Walkie Vicky. So one item, two item. Yeah. So, anyway, I was saying doing Thieves Town, not going to be able to get that fourth item. Um, not going to need her Dark World portal uh, anymore once she's done in this area. So, doing the magic bat check, if she remembers it, uh, it would be a really good time to do it. So you're 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 you're, you're, you're Chauncey. You find the bow. Uh, do you just immediately go do Pod Eastern after this? I'd say so. Do as much as you can. Try to salvage it by just saying, "Okay, it's at Pyramid Ferry." Yeah, the. Your, the 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 pod eastern play lets you finish off the crystal. Um, if he doesn't go in the pod, you know we know that that's required. That's where the cane is, um, and then he can also turn his green pendant in. Uh, so uh, that does make a really good sense to do that route. And depending on if green pendant is hammer or not, Chauncey might actually have the advantage for all we know, because this might be the very very rare pyramid fairy has the hammer. They're both gonna have the green pendant because that's they're both doing they're both doing thieves town. Um, but if it's in the pyramid fairy, then that's absolutely something that. That I mean, pink kitty rose oh, yeah. just, just doesn't I, have to, I, it means to check it. I keep forgetting ice mouse is still in play as well. And also the one chest and swan, so there is still a little bit of options here, but. I kind of want to see this very niche thing happen. And there's confirmation. Ether is for Turtle Rock. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> John CJ, going to hammer the. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, here comes the blind fight for Pinkity Rose. Should be pretty easy, and if things go horribly wrong, does have the blue cane to just hug blind to death. But it looks like... A flawless blind fight for Pink. Very nicely done. Pink's gonna move on to Magic Bat here. It does look like she's headed in that direction. It's the only thing left for her to check in the region. Might as well. Here comes the green pen to check for Chauncey. Is this our hammer? No, it's not! Well, here's another check over here on the bat. Is this our hammer? <laughs> uh, Chauncey, fortunately, continuing... Uh, to do pod, gonna at least pick up that red king as card progression. All right, hammer on the bat. Hammer, Let's find hammer, out. Hammer, 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 hammer. It's right, a let's... hard container on the bat. Who? 
Who? Did this seed? What the? Oh boy. Pink's healing up. I think she's gonna do Aghanim just to carry the bomb over. No, no way. Wait, no. She looks like she's heading to Ice Palace. Okay, this is smarter. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't do Aga on a pyramid fairy check until you've done everything else. Uh, uh, that, that's what I would suggest anyway. And this is currently the most item dense location that she can check. All right. This is the first turn, no problem. Well, we could find the flute in here, which would make two more dungeons, neither of which require the hammer, um, available. Yeah, that would make uh, Desert as well as Mire. And we know that Desert Ledge has the shovel. Yeah, they. It, but what, what I was getting at is like they could full clear Mire and Desert and still not find the hammer. So, like, that would still have to be a, uh, a Pyramid Fairy play. Their first item has been found here in Ice. It's a heart container. Alright, Pink cannot do right side. There is one chest that she can get over there, but that's it. Yeah, she can do a freezer room, um, big chest if if the key is available, uh, ice tea room, and the uh, the one right side chest. Yeah, the spike chest. And very nicely done taking out the Stalfos. Chauncey, will we now be getting their Canis of Mario up here? And Pink will be bomb jumping this. And there's the spin setup. Very nicely executed. Alright, Penguin Bowling Room, gonna just go ahead and use the hook shot to knock the pins over. <laughs> Alright, without a key, has to go left at first. Alright. Gets the clip. Very nicely done. Alright. Freezer root chest has the map. Ooh, things are getting really interesting. Yeah, definitely running out of locations. Uh, I just see room in this one right side chest. Meanwhile, Chauncey did pick up that red cane. Uh, that's all the progression that uh, is in this dungeon. Um, well, Quake, may Quake may Yeah, Quake may be needed. So my, my apologies. But, but he's also picked up Quake. <laughs> yeah. The definite one, though, is the Samaria. I will give you that much. Quake is a niche requirement at this point. All right, okay. icy room. Small key. All right. All right, so one spot left or one spot that's delayed with the big key. Chauncey's done. Yeah, done with if, uh, Pod. And this is the last chest Pink can check here in Ice. Is it our hammer? Boots! Oh, it's... no! <laughs> well, it's something, at least. All right, well, that, that opens up two more spots. <laughs> that was a three more spots, because now we can get the mushroom. Oh, uh, no. But yes. yes, the library. It was library. I was thinking 
I was thinking, uh, yeah, library. All right, three more spots. Uh, <laughs> that, all right. That's insane. Oh, come on. He's not going to be too bad about that either. Now, everyone, get boots. All right, boots. Not that from spot number one. <laughs> Why didn't Pink kill Cold Stair? You need the hammer to get all the way down to Cold Stair. He is one of the four dungeons that require the hammer. Alright, here's our Bonk Rocks check. This is two out of three spots, and this gives us the book! Oh my god! The book that's, of Adora! That's two more spots! <laughs> And that's also Desert Palace access now as well. Yeah, this this is getting real interesting. All right, well it's gonna be a, a while now. Check the tablets. Oh my God, pedestal check. I mean, we know it can't be hammer because of swamp, but could be our ice rod. Could be the flute. Yeah, uh, Bombos and Aether Tablets and, and and the two items in Desert are, are opened up by the book. Um, and then there's still the Mushroom, so that, that boot led to a lot of things, actually, indirectly. Bomb Storage! Bet is dead, folks! Sorry! Nothing required on Pedestal. This, this is a very strange seed. Well... It could not have had the the hammer, like you said, but it could have had uh, the flute or the uh, uh, or the uh, ice rod. So definitely worth checking. Could have also had bombos. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, that's true. Could have had bombos. All right, Chauncey, where are you going? Uh, I gotta say the the blacksmith chain sequence, um, and then also the uh, the magic bat as well. Yeah, lots of checks for Chauncey to do. Pink, meanwhile, is following the trail of the boots of letter. Her on. Probably gonna warple over here to turn this mushroom in. I think. Yeah, it's just faster to get use the whirlpool instead of walking. Yeah, and uh, normally, you know, if you get the mushroom early, you, you might save it for, for a fake powder, but she's already done the, uh, the real powder. So turn this in uh, after this. I'm going to say go to desert. Yeah, absolutely. Get the shovel, the two items. You can full clear the dungeon and get your crystal. Absolutely. Seems good. Green Rupee, the <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's, that's just insulting. Green Rupee. Alright, and Chauncey is doing the blacksmith stuff. Uh, picks up his second bottle. Uh, that's a little purple. Smart from pink. She used the portal warp back to get into the desert area. And Chauncey is doing the uh, magic bat check as well. And then I guess I'll save and quit here and then turn the purple chest in. Uh, that's, the first... that's Chauncey's first look at the shovel there. <laughs> uh, Pink's first check, but yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, my, I'm in pink. Uh, it's just gotta okay. be saying, another fetch quest? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> This is a roller coaster fix on it. I don't know when it's going to stop. Well, fortunately, that's our last possible fetch quest item. <laughs> Just a finite number of fetch quests in this silly game. All right. Here we go with the first chest here in desert. It is the big key. Well, it's the small keys on torching here. Not boots locked here. Ha <laughs> ha 
That's a matter of principle right there. <laughs> Ten arrow booster on the torch. So boots were not required to enter desert, but you needed the boots to get the book. This has to be the small key. Right. So uh, only one item left in desert. Uh, and of course, the, uh, the the crystal itself. So you're gonna you're, you're gonna clear it either way. And Pink looks like she's gonna go get the shovel and go fight Moldorm first. Lam Lamo. But, Lamo. Okay. <laughs> I get those mixed up all the time. <laughs> uh, you, you, you've been calling me out on them all night, so I, I'm just, you know, I'm just returning the favor for you, helping you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. So, uh, Pink is gambling that the other item is going to be on land now. If not, then it's backtracked to the right side of Desert for the first section. Yeah, this is an absolutely fine play. I've seen a lot of runners do this. Totally agree. Uh, it has the mirror, so you know, so, and and but and if you enter from the left side uh, with the mirror, then you you normally check the right side because you can mirror back. But if you enter from the middle, then this makes a lot of sense. Yeah, just get this check done out of the way. And if it turns out Lambo said the item, you can just leave right side alone. So Chauncey, um, I'm trying to figure out where Chauncey might be headed at this point. Uh, Chauncey has not. Did Chauncey so, be? He's doing Pyramid Fairy. Oh boy, this is big. And yeah, you know, I was I was thinking that this is a a long way to get there, but. This is actually the only way he can get there. He still has to go to Kakariko, ironically. All right, so this leads to Hammer. Agonim was actually required this right, whole it, time. Yeah, this is our moment of truth right here. Hammer is here. This is a massive turnaround for Chauncey. But it should only take Pig like maybe three and a half minutes once she realizes it. she's going to check everything else. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just see that. Flute! Flute! Oh, wow. Okay, so the flute's there. Interesting. All right, but that means that the hammer is not. So we now we can absolutely say Aga was not required. Aga was not required... Unless, uh, the, unless, flute leads unless to the, the hammer. hammer, unless the hammer's in the Meyer area. Oh my God, we can't. We still can't call this an hour twelve in. Jeez. Uh, I'm just. I, I'm. I'm gonna give up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like Pig's gonna check Ether here real quick. If we see a like a hammer in checkerboard cave or whatever, I'm just like, I'm turning in my commentator card. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Five of six were Eastern and Hera. So Pink's checking those tablets with the book. I imagine after this, we'll probably see a Bombo's tablet check in the first ch uh, chest and swamp. There's the other single rupee. <laughs> Well, it's good to get both single rupees out of the game as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, once Ming checks Bombos and the first chest of Eastern, or first chest of Swamp, she's out of locations. And we'll... She still has to get the Swamp from Kakariko. You know, we, we, we were talking about... Um, Aga, you know, if Aga wasn't progression, it still gave you that second Dark World portal, and uh, you know, it's, it's been long enough with that hammer that that might have paid for itself already in time savings. Bombos is required for Meyer. Oh, mm -hmm. great. <laughs> so we're not quite done yet with our items. All right.
20 rupees. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ago Again. is alive uh. and well! Oh my god, I've never seen this! Oh my goodness, what is this seed? Everybody clip this. Please! <laughs> Please clip this. Aga to flute in the pyramid fairy to hammer in the marsh. <laughs> oh my god. This is insane. What so, a, what a oh. seed for our week seven match. Or round seven match, rather. And, and th this is like the... This is a five... This is a four-two match. I mean... This is guaranteed bracket progression. What a match. So so Chauncey J, by missing a Gina's cave early on and not having access to the Dark World, did at the time an unnecessary Aga play, and it's been the bane of his run, and turns out to be mandatory progression in the most niche possible way. Oh my god. Oh my. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If Pink finds Bombos in the first chest of Swamp when she checks it just now, unknowns to her, she will be secretly in Gomo. <laughs> uh, maybe. Oh no, right. I forgot about uh, the ice rod. Never mind. Agina had the Titans mitts, and this whole time. This has been an aggro required seed because of the very, very niche requirement that the hammer was locked behind Pyramid Fairy. I, I've i never, ever seen this. And I'm, I've been watching races like every day for over six months. I've never seen this. I, I recognize it way back in, I think, version... What are we on? 29? 29, I saw, like, yeah. I saw it on like version 26. This is the first time I've ever seen this come up. This is like a one in a million seed. I think this is literally like a one in a million seed. <laughs> no exaggeration. This is amazing. And Pink's first item is the mirror shield. All right. She so knows, she's she knows locked out of swamp. She knows it's Aga. She has to know it's Aga at this point. Yeah, looks, and she's headed, uh, oh, I don't know where, she, where she's going. Now, the only advantage right now that Chauncey has... Is she going to try to buy, buy the bomb? She can buy the bomb. She, she, she can sequence break Aga. She knows how to. W wouldn't that be a comeback? Oh, I think... I. I, I forget if she does know. She's either going to walk up to the hammer pegs and then go, oops, or sequence break this? She's like going she... for this. She's going for the sequence break. Oh my god. If she mirrors at the exact time the bomb goes off. Oh, that wasn't it. No, she do didn't do it. Oh, so she has she has her green pen in the turn and still, I think. Uh yeah, she can sequence right Aga with a In this case you can sequence right Aga by some by getting the bomb across the water. Neither of us know exactly how you do it, but it, it's possible. All right, so Chauncey has to clear desert now. Now, the right. one advantage Pink still has is she has done a lot more checks. So when yes. Chauncey does find those boots, looking for the fire, you might spend some more time looking for the uh, bombos at book. Look, the dash rocks. And Pink will still, even though Pink still has to climb Aga, she will have a much, much faster Aga. Well, Shotzi had the fire rod, which basically one shot everything that Silvers will do. So, yes. pretty much the same, and uh, it's going to be the same zero blue balls because that's not randomized. I mean, it's randomized, but it's the same randomization. 
Yes, the huge difference, though, is Pink has the boots. So her moving through the tower is just going to be just a little bit faster. Boots will hop a little bit. Now, what I, what I, what I want to know is Chauncey finding the mitts when he did, obviously, you know, I think it's safe to say he felt behind at that point. But, you know, with, with the... With, with this changeover, with the flute lifting the hammer, do you think he was like, oh my god, I just, I got lucky, and now I'm ahead? No. And it's purely because he, with the, and it's mainly because of what Pink did, is she was so efficient because of the Titans with the mirror, with their initial route sweep through the overworld. Chauncey has had to make the, all these little dull backs and forths, I would say that Chauncey still feels behind. See, I actually think that that Chauncey's play, you know, evened out that early Aga dip because we saw Pink have to make so many trips to Eastern Dark World, starting in Kakariko. I think having that other portal probably saved the time it cost to get. Parrot Man, where was Lumberjack? Where was Hammer? Meyer Shed, where was the flute? Pyramid. Fairy. Pyramid Fairy, yes. And it's important to make that distinction. <laughs> yeah, this is now suddenly he closed the gap. Because the thing is, Pink will be getting that hammer almost immediately. Absolutely. Pink has dipped into ice. Um, Chauncey hasn't, is, is in ice now. And uh, has the ability to clear it. So Pink's going to have to come back here. Um, her dip didn't really save her any time, because she'll be go-moding ice. Yes, but as overall, she's saving a little bit of extra time with those boots. It's not a lot, but it's slowly building up. Well, it depends on where, where Bombos is. I mean, if Chauncey checks all of the 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 boots and book spots, then that's gonna that's gonna take a lot of time. But if he goes directly to where Bombos is, like let's say he uh, he gambles for Ice Rod and Turtle Rock, um, and it's there, like that could be a game changer. the 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 best way to save time on a spot is to never check it at all. All right, there goes Pink down, and she's trying to spin around like Aga. All right, so there we go. Aga's down for both runners now. Um, poor, poor Pinkity Rose finishes Aga and still has to go get the bomb from Kakariko. <laughs> yeah, this, this seed. Oh, uh, I, I can't even finish describing it anymore. Oh my goodness. Uh, she mirrored and save and quit, and you can you can just picture what's going through her head. Like, do I really have to go that way? It can't be right. She can't even take the most convenient portal to try get the big bomb. Yeah she, yeah, she can't even take the Aga portal to get there. Oh, she can, but it'll be a much longer trip. <laughs> it would still go through Kakariko. <laughs> and Village of Outcasts, and the Southern Dark World. It, it, this, this scene is just a hot mess for the hammer. Alright, so we're going to find out on Chauncey's side what's what these right side hammer locked items were. Uh, if this is Ice Rod or Bombos, that's going to really uh, potentially save him a lot of time. There's the boots. Buriyami, hammer was at Meyer Shed, but the flute is at Pyramid Ferry. So, by virtue of that, hammer might as well be there. This is a really rare seed we are dealing with. I, I've seen seeds where, you know, an hour 20, you'll, you'll, 
you'll be you'll be clearing Aga to get the lumberjack item. And like if that if you saw early on that was your ice rod or something, but I've never seen you have to clear Aga this late in the game to get the hammer. And she is bonking of a star. She knows that this is it. And she's gonna find the flute, of course, not the hammer. <laughs> so there's a oh what the and yet another trip to Kakariko. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like we didn't see anything important there on the right side, so... Nah, keys. Okay, Pinkity Rose, back to Kakariko you go. <laughs> Hopefully for the last time. There's an item there in the big chest, 20 rupees. So even if uh, ice was full cleared, not going to find the item here. Right, but we have we have Misery Mire, which is Bombos locked, so they can't go in there. Um, it makes a lot of sense that you know Pink Kitty Rose is probably still going to go right back to Ice and check those remaining chests, uh, trying to find progression because that is a crystal that she can clear now. Uh, you know, the question is, where do they go next? Um, you know, it's there's a, there's an item on Helmosaur, but you're not you don't want to go to the pod for one item. Uh, you can full clear swamp, or you can gamble that Ice Rod or Bombos is going to be in Trotter Rock or Mire. Well, we can't. Ice Rod's probably going to be somewhere. We don't know. <laughs> anyway, Pink's about to get her hammer, and I, I expect a few frustration bombs. I'm not going to lie. I saw it could be in Turtle Rock, yes. As long as it's not on Trinex, it can appear anywhere else. Yeah, I, I saw it can be in Turtle Neck. You could have Bombos on Turtle Neck. Uh, not Turtle Neck, uh, Turtle Rock. And then <laughs> Ice Rod and Mire. Alright, there's the hammer for Pink. I don't know where they came from. I don't know either. Anyway, it looks like Pink will be heading over to Ice Palace to finish it up. Yeah, we were talking about Trinex, that's what it was. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, trying, where did they get that reference from? <laughs> it was Trinex. <laughs> All right. So Chauncey has taken the lead in terms of our crystal count. But in terms of locations checked, Pink still has a very small lead. This is a very close race, folks. Make sure to stay tuned. Uh, I, those boots, you know, that unlocks so many things, and I really... I, I, I don't know. I was gonna say I'd be surprised to see Chauncey dip in the in the Turtle Rock, but picking up those potions, uh, that might be where he's headed. Heading to Kakariko. Gonna go check the Bonk Rocks, and he's also aware of the mushroom as well, which makes me wonder why he didn't pick up the. Doesn't matter. He'll get the mushroom eventually. I guess these checks are a little bit faster with the flute to get around. And there's the Boca Medora. So maybe I'll pick up his half magic. Yeah, pick it up on the way back. Makes sense. Both runners now have access to it. Oh, he's leaving the mushroom behind. And going up the mountain. Okay, nice. So he was just checking those two quick spots before Turtle Rock. This is a great play. It is indeed. 
think with an extra key, you can actually just go over here, grab these two items, and leave. Well, hopefully he's doing Trona Rock and not just checking Ether. Uh, this could be Spike Cave as well, now that he has the hammer. Alright, I forgot about that. Yeah, who, who thinks Spike Cave is going to be put off to your, your, your fifth trip up the Death Mountain? <laughs> All right, Ether Tablet. We know is nothing too important here. And yep, Spike Cave it is. And Pink knows she needs to go to Turtle Rock. So Ice Rod or Bombos here would also be very good, and would let him skip the remaining overworld checks. Yeah, for, for for pink though, um, it's 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 Turtle Rock, um, Swamp Palace, or Helmosaur at this point. And given how late the hammer is, you have to assume that the hammer has to lead somewhere. And I would, if I were her, I would go for the crystal pull, or the attempt at a crystal. Charles, he's staying on the mountain. All right. Turtle Rock. Turtle Rock it is. I think we're going to have the hammer. And almost done. There we go. Very nicely done. Yeah, those, those, those puffs moved, moved around quite a bit, but plenty of health left. Yep. So we'll see if Turtle Rock is the play here. If Turtle Rock has neither the Ice Rod or the Bomb or the Bomb Boost Medallion, and, and they're both in Swamp Palace, <laughs> that's going to be insane. Or, God, if even there's an item on Helmosaur, that's one of those two. Yeah, this is going to be... It's coming down really to the wire here. How, how are they only an hour and 30 minutes in at this point? Hey, going to the mountain. Definitely the Turtle Rock's on her mind. Definitely. She's going to skip Ice Rod. She's going to skip Spike Cave. Alright, so Chauncey does have a little bit of a time advantage right now. But if he does not find his go mode entirely in this dungeon, he has a lot of locations left to search, whereas Pink does not. Yeah, if this if this is the go mode items, though, then we've taken wildly varying leads and basically shrunk them down to a, a minute difference. Yeah, and this will come down to execution. Whose is better? So, uh... Pink does have a spike cave as well on, on Death Mountain. Yeah. More than likely, after she's done with Turtle Rock, she'll check it. But if, again, both her progression items are here in Turtle Rock, the ones we need. She's going to ignore it and go st straight to Mire. Compass and Big Key. Not much in the way of items thus far. Chauncey making their trip downstairs as Pink enters Turtle Rock. They are about maybe th two to three minutes apart here. At most. Uh, using Chauncey using a potion before heading into the Chain Chomps makes a lot of sense.
and this chest has to be a small key. Yeah, Chauncey has not done Bombos or the Mushroom Check. And Pink has also checked the first chest of Swamp. That's where she got her Mirror Shield. Yeah, they're they're not that out of sync at this point. Yeah, this is gonna come down to execution, I think. Yeah, I just I feel like I have nothing to say because I'm holding my breath. <laughs> I'm in the exact same boat. Like every chest, I'm like, is this gonna be the bombas or the ice rod? Well, if it's Ice Rod, then they can clear the dungeon. If it's Bombos, it's either or. If neither are in here, where the heck do you go? I would only assume that it'd probably be Pink, just for the... For Pink, it'll be the uh, Swamp Palace, just for the item density. Because Helmsword only has one item left, and that's on him, unless it's a dungeon item, and I don't remember anymore. Uh, it, it, it is an item, uh, a non-dungeon item item, um, and absolutely Swamp would be the next place to go. Pay Cave, I completely forgot, that's also available! Yes, yeah, that's right, they weren't able to get in there. All right, Mimic Cave has five rupees. This is going to be something on Halmosaur. You just know it at this point. <laughs> and, and on Argus. <laughs> I wouldn't put a bass this seed. I really wouldn't. And Pink is already... Oh, Bombos! There's Bombos. In the, big, in the big chest. All right. Pink will be grabbing that soon. Pink's only like two screens behind. Yeah, she is extremely close. This has to be a small key. And then there's also a small key on Laser Bridge. So Pink can actually do Laser Bridge the way it was intended with the Mirror Shield. Yeah, and electric sliding into the portal. Very stylish. And Chauncey has to make this little detour for some extra magic. Well, it, it's, they both can full clear Misery Mire now. Uh, even if the Ice Rod isn't in there, they'll still at least pick up a crystal. But we still have tr uh, three items left on, turtle, on Laser Bridge. Ice Rod, maybe? Nope. First chest is the small key. Second chest is a bomb booster. Third chest. The map. Last chest? It's, it's this an has item. to be an item. And so what does an arm. And Trinus also oh. has an item. It's a hard container. Ice Rod's not in here, folks. Require Turtle Rock Double Dip. Oh my goodness, the seed just keeps going. Where is the ice rod now? Uh, pr probably required. If it's if it's in Swamp or on Pod, it wasn't required double dip. But they're both doing it. Chauncey's going to start with some Meyer. God, even their Meyer route divergence could make could be a factor at this point. I think I think what you want is for the big key to be like the last possible place in Myers. Like you don't want God Meyer then have to gamble where all the chests are. Do you skip them or not? 
All right, Pink's gonna use the portal here. Chauncey is in mire. Pink is actually heading to the witch. Making a quick detour to buy potions. Paying no respect to the green rupee. All right. Chauncey coming up on the first chest in Meyer, which I'm really hoping is not the big key. Normally you want a big key here, but not this time. Small key. Small key, the first item. And we're going to set the bird on fire. I missed it, but chat says that they, they set up for the uh, the Meyer spooky action glitch. So that's always fun to watch. Yeah. That one is actually relatively new tech. All right. Rod. All right. Nice rod. Oh. Let's go mode. <laughs> Let's go mode for Chauncey J. And Pink is right on his heels. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very tight race here for our round seven matchup. Stay tuned. Things are going to get real exciting real fast. Really close. Both of these runners, 4-2. They know how to execute. And go mode removes all the decision-making complications. And it's just all muscle memory at this point. You just got to find that big key. I think we'll be coming up on her, her uh, ice right here in just a moment. Oh! I'm going to go back and check this uh, central hub room first. Big key's on the right side. Oh, you could change this if uh, the compass chest, uh, the big key chest has the big key, I think. Uh, the one the one next to it, the little one, yeah. Big excited. She's gonna gamble right side. Yes! <laughs> It doesn't matter, because they're both going to make the same gamble. Pink actually just pulled ahead! That's what, that's what I'm saying. She's, she's skipping the vanilla there trick. Is. They're in sync! Same room! Oh, oh my god. god! Folks, we have a race! Oh, well, we've had a race for a while now, but now we're in sync. Oh my goodness, my heart. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god. And Chauncey Chauncey grips the magic refill, so now they're in the, even closer. <laughs> the, the ten seconds that the switch glitch saves is actually gonna matter. I guess they both missed it. Oh well. <laughs> that would have been nice. I think Pink's out of a backup. <laughs> Sing to bomb throws. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pink is just maybe a frame or two ahead. 
Chauncey taking a moment to heal on the anti fairy. And, and they, they both have silver, so it's gonna be a really fast Vitreus fight. It's gonna be real fast, and I think actually Pink will come out a little bit faster. Because she doesn't have to wait as long for her full recovery. <laughs> yeah, it does come down to that, doesn't it? This, this is why anything within three seconds is a tie. And Vidi Therese is down for both, getting a piece of heart. And there's Crystal Six. That's like six seconds. Uh, a dead rock takes eight seconds. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. Pink's already out of her cutscene. Mirroring. This race is neck and neck, folks. Here we go. They're going up to Turtle Rock, and... Man, they're just gonna jet through this. They only have to go to Trinex. We've already checked everything there. And then it's on again as Tower. Uh, they both avoided dead rocks. Think he's gonna choose to climb them out uh, on this way. Chauncey's gonna follow. It was a double dip turtle rock, Shintos. Bombos, the medallion required for Misery Mire, was in the big chest of Turtle Rock. Ice Rod being within Mire itself. Uh, and they're through the dead rocks. And on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, this was a very rare instance in which you had to go to fight Aghanim to get the bomb over the Pyramid Fairy so that you can get the flute and then get the hammer out of the Mire Shed. And there were multiple times where we said Aga was not required, and he just kept refusing to die. And it, it turns out, his determination was bested us. And and and, Cha and Chauncey lucked into an accidental Aga requirement by by missing the the mitts early on. So it's like it's so many diversions and oh, and that just cost him like five seconds. This. This is all about the little micromanagements here. All the little mistakes one would make. Uh, there's still a lot of game left for five seconds to be okay at this point. Yeah, this could come down to a left-right. It could come down to how good your Aga fight is, how good your Ganon fight is. Lots and lots of remaining variables left, folks, and we're not going to have much time to talk about this. So I'm going to go ahead and get us a little bit of a head start here. We have our seventh crystal coming up here in just a few more rooms. And as such, we're going to have a game going for us. We're going to start it as soon as we see the Trinex Falls, but let me quickly explain it because we have a lot. We're not going to have much time when we get going here. So, 22 items in Ganon's Tower, one of which is the big key. Hold your guesses, folks. Wait for us to start the game and give us a number then. If you are a supporter to the Speed Gaming Network, be it through 250 bits or more, or a subscription into any one of the Speed Gaming channels, you're eligible to take to be cut uh, after by the bot for our leaderboards. And with all that said and done, Pinkity Rose about to enter Trinex. Once that boss falls, you got maybe 30 seconds before when we start the game. Hammer strats. So good explanation there, Wolflink. Thank you. And they are still actually on Master Sword <laughs> after everything they've been through. <laughs> Give them a Tempered Sword, please. And there goes the, the Ice Head for Pink. The 
The dance of the, the snake form begins. Pink has defeated Trinex here, folks. Trinex just has the single 100 ruby item in the pool. All right, we're gonna start it when we see the sword spin. All right, get your guesses in, guys. Let them flood in. Tiru, what's your guess, by the way, while we have a little bit of time? Wow, this this one is so tough. I I, I really want it to be late so they're, they have the opportunity to pick up another sword. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want this race to come down to a divergence. So I'm going to say one. I'm going to say two. I want this to, as well to be a jet a tower. We're going to yeah. close the game when we see e Pink go downstairs. Yeah, I, I, I want to see... Oh, well... My, my one means there could be a divergence now. <laughs> but yeah, I want this to, yeah, I, I want this to be an execution and not, you know, who got lucky on what side they picked after everything they've gone through. This may be a Dark Magician Pink setting up for... And if this works out for her, this will be huge. Second chest. Peace of heart. Third. Three bombs. Fourth is ten arrows. Fifth is a small key. She is mirroring. She's going right. And so is Chauncey. 20 rubies in chest six. 20 rubies in chest 7! Pink's going left again. Okay. She's not committing to the Dark Magician strat and must realize that if she does, she's going to lose a lot of time if it's random room. That's a little odd. You, you do the, the left side first so you can get the small keys uh, to give you the option to go right. But that, uh, That's that does... just eight. Bring them a little closer now. Nice boomerang strats. Alright, chest nine will be coming... ...being up here in the fire snake room. And Ch Chauncey killing this Dalpha, so is also heading full left side. Nine is ten arrows. Chance J, he will be getting the fire bar chest. Here comes ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen for Pinkity Rose. Ten is a hard piece. Eleven is tempered. Twelve is fifty rubies. Thirteen is the big key! There's payoff for Rando Room, sword and the key. All right, folks, this. And that's a little bit of a time savings for Chauncey, not have not going left, right, left. It's a little bit of a time save, but this is going to come that execution at this point. And Mars Jankar, guessing correctly. For our guessing game. Congratulations to you, sir. Or madam. Uh, Chauncey heading into the randomizer room, about to pick up his temper sword and big key. Maintaining the fall here, but can just dash across. Pink is beginning the gauntlet floors, floor while Chauncey is climbing up to floor three. 
And Pink pulling out oh, Ether. I love this strat. Not gonna deal with the randomness that is those Stalfos. Does cost a little bit of time there, uh, if, if you're if you're super good, but it's consistent. Yeah, and I think that's even more so because there's no way you can predict where those Stalfos are gonna go, and you don't want to chase them down with that conveyor room. Things living on the ice there a little bit. They are literally a floor apart. Ooh, Pink missing that first arrow to the Lamolas. Gets it on the second round, though. Alright. And Chauncey starting his climb up the gauntlet. As Pink leaves the gauntlet floor, heading up to the Wizard floor. This is coming down to the last few moments here. Yeah, there's no randomization left. Uh, both Aga and Ganon are the same for both runners. So it's well, just execution. Yes, and it's going to come down to execution, and it's also going to come down to... Oh, there is one little bit of RNG left. Yeah, Moldorm, I guess. Yeah. A Moldorm fall. Missing an at missing a fireball from Aghanim. A fall or a death to Ganon. Any of those could be a huge factor here. That, that's that's execution though. I mean that's less Oh wow. It got, it got the the lamp lit with the lamp, the torch with the lamp on the last uh, last little bit of fire. And Pink is already on the way to Moldorm too. Doesn't have the magic to heal here, but doesn't really need it. Chauncey's halfway through the wizard floor. Moldorm cooperating. No and it's down. No Moldorm fall today. Moldorm's last possession has been checked. It is just 20 rupees. All right. Pink is up to the floor with Aga 2. This race is coming down to the wire. All right, Aga 2, what kind of patterns are you going to give our runners? That's a good, easy double nice, there. Nice start pattern. Double or triple. I think that was a double. Definitely Can another I... double. Definitely another double. Yeah, three triple, doubles. Nice. Triple double. And with Aga 2 down, it is now time to fight the pig. Tempered Sword. 12 slashes for the first two phases. Four at the end of each... One at the end of each teleport. He will do it four times in phase three. And then a sword slash and followed by an arrow when the lights oh. are on. And Chauncey takes the troll down fall. Oh, no! All right. <laughs> and the burrito quote. Gets nice. Double, nice double spin off the trident. Uh, another fall for Chauncey. Yeah, that's problematic. Pink using the cape does have plenty of potions to restore. Has easily done phase two. Yeah, Gotta be a little bit early those first teleports. Getting the bow Chauncey, out already. Chauncey's through on on the troll dorm. Gan is denying them the sub two. Here comes the fort. Nope. Oh. There we go. Arrows in Hyrule Castle. Yes, we did. Nice. Torch clutch with a fire rod. 
Almost and a triple. Almost a triple. But right, that's that's it. That's the fourth shot. Almost that's a sub two. The fourth shot. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Pink Kitty Rose. This race was really close, but she will be advancing to the bracket stage of our Spring Standard Tournament. <laughs> GG's for Pink Kitty Rose. Finishing with an official SRTV time of two hours and 12 seconds. That was absolutely amazing. And Chauncey heading into his Ganon fight. We'll wait until, until they're both done before we bring them in for an interviews. And her... Is that her emote? I think that's her emote. Her supporters are going wild in the chat. I do not blame them. This was a very epic race to watch. And a very great one to commentate. I, I've been waiting forever in order to see a Pyramid Fairy Hammerlock. <laughs> that was amazing. Not gonna lie, I was too. <laughs> Ooh, does he have a fairy? I don't think so. They never found the net. Going back in. The double spin again. All right. Phase two. Just playing it safe. So I think he probably still has a magic potion left. Yeah. And I think because of the death, the teleports will be slightly different. Yeah, they, they do reset on the death. Huh. <laughs> I, I can't help but laugh at this. Phrase. This this was an amazing one to watch, amazing one to commentate. Hey, yeah, so much of the last part of this race was was in sync, and then you know it started to diverge a little bit. But uh, the I don't think I've ever seen these this many divergences end up in such a close race. And there we go, GG's the Chauncey J. Absolutely. Uh, GG's for, Cha for Chauncey, finishing up two hours, three minutes, and 27 seconds. Three minute difference. Very nice for such a difficult race. All right, let's get them both in here. Giving Chauncey just a second to uh, join our inter here we go. All right, let's get them both in here. So, congratulations, you two. This was a very close race. Congratulations, especially you, Pink, for being the one who pulls it out here. You will be moving on to the bracket stage. You gotta be feeling good. What was this? What was this? Who <laughs> Who's responsible? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone has to. Someone has to be blamed for this. I mean, you could have shaved off a good fifteen minutes if I knew how to bomb dupe. I was suspicious of Pyramid Fairy, but not for Hammer. <laughs> that it was a rare occurrence. We were just as surprised as you were when we found it out. Offer well, the flute. Like, how, how, 
and you find the flute there, you gotta be like, oh, come on, again? Well, I'm happy I didn't go back into swamp. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, that was the largest roller coaster, roller coaster of emotions I have ever been on in my entire life. Yeah, you both. I'm just gonna say this, set the stage here. You both were neck and neck through mire. Or once you got the big keys. Like frame neck neck perfect. Through, you were neck and neck through Turtle Rock. Uh, it, it, Pink started eking out slowly during GT and just managed to win from there. Oh, man. This race literally came down to execution at the end. And this is one you have to watch back. This yeah. one was insane. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have, because there's no way, there's no way we took any amount of the same route up until <laughs> the Turtle Rock Misery Meyer debacle. No, nothing. Oh. Uh, yeah, so, it's pretty much got the hammer, finished ice, went straight to Turtle Rock, found Bombos, just went, and went to Meyer. <laughs> so, Pink, just so you know, um, I gambled on Aga leaving Agana behind. Um, so I probably got the hammer much before you did. And oh, God! <laughs> yeah! It was... absurd. It was actually not that much of a difference. Maybe five minutes at most between Chauncey getting the hammer and Pink getting it, because Pink had cleared most of the overworld before she did Aga. I did literally everything. Aga was my last possible option. I even did first chest of swamp. I even went into ice, found the boots that got me to desert, but nothing there. <laughs> so I had to go do Aga. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tried to do the bomb dupe. I saw that. Have you I, done that before? This was pretty much just me saying, I know it's this. I don't know how to do this, but I know <laughs> it's this. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Learn it on the fly. Kind of like just bringing it with me. It's like, I'm going to be doing this in a minute. I can feel it. <laughs> just here's the, here's the preview. <laughs> you guys had so much like in Meyer it was like frame perfect sync for a while, but you your diversion started literally as you were leaving Sanctuary, you know, in the beginning after escape. Like you guys had nothing in common for the rest of the game. Oh yeah, I did myself short first routing because <laughs> we had so many bombs and good weapons. Yeah, that was that was pretty neat. Alright, well you two Pink, once again, you were moving on at practice stages. You gotta be feeling really good. Chauncey, you're now four and three, unfortunately. <laughs> well, there's room for two of us, so uh, I don't know how good my tiebreakers are, but I imagine I am not one of those two. Yeah. But Pink, you now are gonna have at least two more matches in this tournament. Are you worried about running into some of the people who have locked in their match spots from the previous tournaments? Eh, not really. I mean, I've run against many of them before, and yeah, they've been most of the time, but I've beaten them some too. <laughs> so on those things, I know I'm not have the best. I'm just gonna go as far as I can and have fun with it. That was my whole intent with this. <laughs> always, always a great mentality to have. It's like, if I run up against, like, Ben or Danny or whatever, <laughs> then it's just like, okay, I'll just do my best, and hopefully might come out on top. You never know, it's random. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> the, this seed was, you know, like you never know it's random. It should be like pasted onto this particular seed. <laughs> God, I can't believe I I like dreamed of the day I'd have a seed but that was mandatory for Agatum only for the purpose of Pyramid Fairy. I just didn't think it would come off of the tournament. Ah, I should go <laughs> learn Bob Doop. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was. <laughs> What was so amazing about this was, you know, you, you made that early desert play and got the mitts, and Chauncey went a really long time without having them, and, you know, committed to Aga, which, in any other seed, would have been a waste of time. <laughs> but in this, this seed... One? Nope. Yeah, in this seed, like, everything, like, Boots led the book, which led the mushroom, like, and then Flute led the hammer, like, everything in the seed was like, no, we're not going to give it to you quite so soon. Uh, and this is just another reason why I go to Agana early, because that's happened more than once in regards to people doing an Agana's play just because they didn't go to Agana's cave. It's like, I feel like being thorough with your Sphere Zeros is a good idea. 
Maybe not the sphere ones, but the sphere zeros, yes. But oh my goodness. <laughs> so I guess uh, having to double dip ice and a couple of other things kind of, well, he didn't end them. Did you go into Ice Palace before you found the bits, huh, Chauncey? Actually, you couldn't mm. have. No, I couldn't have. Uh, yeah, so that's where a lot of my time loss came from, was having to double dip ice and having to run from Village of Outcasts to the mob <laughs> shop about three separate times, each with different things in mind. <laughs> yeah, the only dungeons that I double dip were the required ones and Eastern. They did yeah, early it's... Eastern. That was that was the best part, is even having the the Aga portal for Dark World, you couldn't use it to get to the bomb shop. <laughs> right, yeah. I, I You could see, especially after I found the mitts, I kind of tilted off the face of the earth for a good, like, 15, 20 minutes. Um, I came back down once I started realizing that uh, the hammer was more than likely there and uh, started executing better, but I was saving and quitting in wrong places, going into the Dark World in wrong places. It was... It was quite funny to watch, I imagine. See, it also emphasizes why when I'm doing Dark Magician, I don't continue going right if there's no small key in the hope room, because if somebody's routing normally, they will go right. But if, I mean, they won't go right because there's no key there, and that would have cost me another, like, minute or so, and would have made things even closer. Yeah. Although, something I didn't mention yet, Chauncey actually fell at Moldrum, I think, twice. Yeah. I knew as soon as I as soon as I started that nonsense. I think it was three times. Um, I was like, "It's over. There's, there's no way I'm winning here." Even even if I did accidentally route this seed properly. Yeah, and there was also a death to Ganon as well without a fairy revive. Oh yeah, that was just me trying out silly strats that I shouldn't have been because I knew I lost. All right. Well, any final thoughts at all for this? Chauncey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go through this together. <laughs> yeah, this was this was nonsense, but hey, it's rando, so uh, here we are. Oh, the rando is angry today. I fear for the nightly. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like what you see, folks, make sure to give these two a follow. They 